all of this fits into this. This is my luxury handbag that I take with me on my travel adventures that help me when I want to have something nice, when I'm going to a work dinner, a class reunion, a wedding, or a funeral. Sometimes I like to have a few nice things with me. And in today's video, I'm going to go over a few of those things that I sometimes take with me that just make my travel adventures feel a little bit more luxurious without breaking the bank. table I have several things that I want to go over in this video but as you saw in the intro there are a lot of things in this bag that I want to go over with you that make great gifts for your travel adventurer but before I get into what's in the bag let's talk about the bag this is a bag by Teddy Blake Teddy Blake makes luxury handbags that are a fraction of the price of other luxury handbags this is my handbag of choice for a couple of reasons a, it's a great price point. Teddy Blake has sales a lot throughout the year, so just keep an eye out. I've seen some of their clearance stuff at like 80% off. So just keep an eye out on what's on their site because you never know what you're gonna be able to get. I like this bag in particular because of its size. This allows me to carry it as a handbag, as you see here, but it also has a nice, beautiful leather strap. So I can also carry it as a shoulder bag or crossbody bag if I want to. And that also means that I'm going to use this as a packing cube in my personal carry-on. Yes, you heard me, in my personal carry-on. Because I'm going to take this bag and I'm going to put in some clothing and things like that. For example, I recently went on a trip and as soon as we got off the plane, I was going to have to change to get into something. So I took this dress this sweater that I have on, my stockings, and I put them in this bag along with all of my jewelry. And that way I knew as soon as I got to my destination, everything was with me and I could get changed. So even if they checked my roller bag, my personal carry-on had everything with me so I knew I'd be able to get dressed and go to the event I needed to go to. And it was such a quick change. I literally had to change at the airport. So this was perfect. I was able to fit everything I needed in here and then take this out, get it on, and then put everything I wanted in the bag to take with me to the event back in here. So let's go through all the things I have in here, all these special things, so you can take a look and see if you can find something special for that someone or for you that might make your travel adventures a little bit more luxurious. I'm gonna start with the things outside of here before I get into the bag because I wanna kinda of get these cleared off the table so I can get everything kind of spread out that's in this bag. The number one thing that I like to bring is a leather passport sleeve, not a booklet, you want a sleeve because when you go and you start traveling, they're going to make you take your passport out so that they can scan it. This just feels so nice in my hands. And quite honestly, it protects my passport from getting damaged. So if you travel a lot, you know how these can get really, you know, ear torn up. It looks kind of nasty, but this will keep it protected. It also has RFID. So this little chip that's in my passport is protecting, um, is protected by this RFID sleeve. And I like how it can slip it in and out so easily. And I can also keep in here things like my boarding pass. So if you want a paper boarding pass, that can slip in here too. So this is a great thing to have. Coming around here is a tiny little leather makeup bag. And yes, folks, everything I need to do my toiletries for a week are in this bag. And if you want to see what I put in this bag, please put a comment in the video saying, show me what's in your leather makeup bag and I'll do a video of what's in here. I'm not gonna go over everything, but I'm gonna show you quickly that it is packed with anything I need to brush my teeth. This is a great kit. Like um, when I'm taking a long trip and I need to do like a red eye flight or I'm doing a long flight like overseas and I need to get freshened up on the plane, this is the bag that I bring now. I used to have that little cloth bag, but it is just so nice to have a nice little leather bag to sit on my tray table and it just looks good. And because of this nice flat bottom and it opens up like a clamshell, I can get to everything I need in here easily and it slips right back up. So this is one of those things that 
Also, if you have a big purse and you just like to carry makeup around, this is another great thing to take with you. So this little, little leather makeup bag, again, won't break the bank and is something that just makes you feel a little more luxurious. This is my jewelry case, or at least one of them. And when I'm traveling, I don't bring a lot of expensive jewelry with me unless I have to go to some special event and I need to be wearing something really nice. And even then, it's not truly, truly like thousands and thousands of dollars of expensive jewelry. But I like this little leather case because some of my finer jewelry, my gold and stuff, I like to keep it in this. As you can see, it has a place to hold necklaces and to keep them from getting tangled, a place for my rings, a place for bracelets, and I can put some earrings in here. And this, my friends, slips right in here. So that way, again, when I'm going on my trip and I need to be able to change quickly, this will be in there so I can get changed and then put this back in my personal carry-on. But this one, it's setting out on my nightstand or dresser. These couple of things just look so nice and just make it feel a little more luxurious when I'm traveling rather than having some nylon bags sitting all over the place. So a nice little jewelry, leather jewelry box like this is a great travel gift for someone. I did a short on this um, and I do have pictures in my YouTube community tab. If you go to my community tab on YouTube, sometimes you'll see pictures of me like this holding things and there'll be a link in there and that way you'll be able to get some of these things. Or if you want, visit me over on Instagram. A lot of times my reels are up there and if you ask me for the link, I'll get you the link to a lot of these items. This next leather bag is another bag that's can be used for anything, but I use it for larger pieces of jewelry. As you can see here, this is great for smaller ones, but for larger ones, I like something like this because it has two zipper pockets here, as you can see, that can keep things separated. So if I have a larger necklace like this that I wanna wear, I'll be able to put that in here without taking up all the room in this. Or here I have a leather bracelet and another nice large um, leather and metal necklace that fits in here. This keeps them separated, keeps them nice and uh, from getting nicked up. And this little leather bag works great. Another one that won't break the bank. It comes in a multitude of colors. You'll see another one in this bag coming up shortly. But this is a great bag for a little bit of makeup, little things you want to keep in your purse as you'll see in here. And again for jewelry but a nice leather bag, again, setting these things out sometimes just makes me feel a little nicer when I'm going on my travel adventures. This next item is a belt, a leather belt, but what's special about this belt is it's reversible. So it has this twisting um, buckle here that you'll see it's animal print on this side, and then if I turn it, it turns to this nice tan leather on this side. It's great to have a reversible um, belt because that way you don't have to take two belts on your travel adventures. I like the leather because eventually it's gonna get really soft and supple and be something that's going to be able to be worn with many different outfits. So this is another great one. I like the gold tone, but there's a lot of different options for this. So this is another great travel adventurer gift. These last couple of things here are just nice to have. This one right here is a nail file that's in its own little leather sheath. I just like this. Now, I don't necessarily travel with this outside of the United States because I'm not sure if this will get taken, but in the United States, it's not a problem. And I also keep one for at home. I like that it's a nice diamond file and that it's in this little leather case. It just makes it nicer. So if you're reaching into a purse, you're not going to stick your hand on that or anything like that, but a nice thing. This last thing is a magnetic phone stand. This will be MagSafe on magnetically attached to your iPhone or any phone that has that magnet. And it, as you can see here, once the phone's on here, it's allowing it to maneuver into different angles. But the bottom of this opens up like this so that I can put this phone on a phone stand and this works great and it makes it nice and slim. So if you're out on your little excursions and you want to set this up on a table and take a selfie, this is great for that. All right, let's get into what's in this beautiful Teddy Blake bag. As you can see, I also have the strap here, which I don't have on right now, but you know me, it's not just a strap. I will actually sometimes use this as a belt because it's just a pretty nice croco embossed leather that, you know, if you needed just like a little bit of something to put on um, for a belt, this would look fine. And again, I'm always looking about versatility, things that I can use for more than one purpose. So as you know, this is that in my purse again as a packing cube, but let's get into what's in this. 
There's a nice zipper on the back here, as you can see, and I keep one special thing in there. I used this the other night, it was great, and it's gonna look really weird, and it's not necessarily a luxury item, but it's something that saves me when I'm traveling, and that is this. <laughs> this is one of those, it's, um, it's like rubber, and it has a wire in it, but what happens is if I want to hang my purse off this table, per se, and I wanna put this here like this, it hangs my purse perfectly off a table or even off of the back of a chair. Sometimes you get those chairs in um, a restaurant that are rounded back and you can't keep a purse on it, it just won't stay. This will hold it on that rounded back and keep it from falling off. So this is one of those things, it's just kind of weird and it's really sturdy. I can hang a really heavy bag off of this. It'll also hang off of a door or something like that. So if you're in a bathroom and they don't have um, a hook on the back of the door or you don't want it on the door and you want it on the side stall near you this will hang on there and be able to hang your purse off of that so that's one of those things that i have in here as you can see with this teddy blake bag it's just beautiful it has this nice little gold lock with keys and yes they actually do work and it's just a wonderful bag and it's not so dressy that i can't wear it like even every day if i wanted to put on the strap and use it as a crossbody just with a pair of jeans even and a nice shirt it was something that I could go out with during the day but looks so nice that if I was going to a wedding or going to an event this purse would make me feel really special so that's why I carry it and again because it's the perfect size to get in everything I need without being too bulky so let's see what's inside this one um, actually the little leather straps here actually pull up out of these gold bars here and that way I can open up the purse like this and it's already popping open full of things that I have in it. Just wanna tell you about the leather on this purse. I'm gonna give you some close-ups here because this purse is just, it's wonderful. This handbag is one of my favorites. It's one of those, you know, that thing like they say, on, my precious. precious. That's how I feel about this handbag. I really do love it. But let's go through some of the things now that I have in this purse. The one thing I always carry with me is a silk scarf. Pretty much any time of year, I want to bring a scarf with me. Number one, it'll dress things up like this. As you can see here, I've used this scarf, tied it with a necklace to make a nice little embellishment for this outfit so I feel a little nicer. But a scarf like this can be used as a belt, it can be used around your neck, it can be used around your waist, um, and it's just soft and I love the colors in it. I love that this has these nice fall neutral colors in it. There's, you know, so many ways to add color to your wardrobe by using a scarf. So something like this is wonderful to have. And again, they fold up pretty small. Now this is a larger one, as you can see, um, this is doubled over right here, but it's pretty large. And if I needed to have something around my neck to keep me a little warm, a scarf will always do that for me. I never fail to bring a scarf with me on every trip. The next thing I have in here is my keys on a nice little gold um, carabiner and a brass whistle. A lot of times these whistles are plastic or ugly metal, but this is a nice little brass whistle as you can see here. And this brass whistle really does work. You might wanna plug your ears. It really works well. So if you need to get someone's attention, this whistle works perfectly. All right, the next thing I have in here is this. Now, I don't think I can find a link to this, but you should always have a little shopping bag or some sort of bag in your purse. We went out to dinner the other night and we had leftover food to bring home. It's obviously not gonna fit in my purse. We were able to put it in a bag like this. I just happened to see this when I was in Vegas and I thought it has bees on it, which you know, for those of you who know me, my beehives and my bees are a thing. You'll notice that theme kind of going throughout this. But a nice bag like this means if I'm going shopping, I can pull this out and get some shopping done. And if it starts to rain, I'm gonna be able to put this bag in here because I'm not gonna want this to get wet and keep it from getting wet because it's water resistant. So a nice shopping bag like this, you can see it has nice substantial handles. It packs in its own little pocket, but having a shopping bag with you is always a nice thing to have. Next thing I have is a wallet, yes. And of course it has a bee on it because the kind of the theme is I have bees on it. I love this little gold bee and it has a little um, carabiner that's nice and gold 
um, on the end of this in a gold zipper. As you can see here, it has my ID. It has a little window for my ID. It has places for my credit cards and my medical cards and a zipper so that I can keep a few things. And for those of you who have followed me and have watched what's in my wallet, some of those things are in this, even though it's really thin. This is a great wallet for travel because if I wanted to go ahead and slip this into my pants without carrying it in a purse. This is great, it's RFID, it's protecting all of my information and it's nice and slim. And again, if I wanted to hook this on with my keys or something, I can put this all together and have all of these things together, my important things with me. So this is another great wallet to have or to give as a gift. This next thing I have is a hand sanitizer. I know that doesn't sound luxury, hand sanitizer, however, this one's special because of its scent, and this one's bergamot. However, it comes in a variety of scents. So these are the four scents that it comes with if you get the variety pack. It's this, which is uh, eucalyptus, um, spice, and lavender. I like the bergamot, and they're refillable. So you can go ahead and buy the refills and then refill these as you need them. But the reason why I think it's kind of luxury is these feel nice, they're kind of a suede feel on the hand, they look nice, and again, I love the smell of this one. So I don't feel like I'm putting on some nasty smelling hand sanitizer, something that smells nice. It's always a good thing to have for your travel adventures. And again, a variety of different scents to put into those. The next thing I have, I've shown you on my shorts, which is this patent leather lipstick case. This is one of those things too, like I just kind of fell in love with it. Patent leather, love the actual um, design on this. But what I really like is it has a little mirror on it so that way you can see yourself when you're putting on your makeup. And a nice place to put some lipsticks and things like that, and you know me, there's gonna be something more than just lipsticks in here, which I do have, but I never know when I'm gonna need to put my hair up if it's hot or I need to dress up more. I carry this little buffalo horn comb and a little hair tie. Um, this is so nice, it's not plastic and it's not gonna break and it fits into my hair. So if I wanna put it up in a twist, this goes in there nicely. And the other thing I have in here, it kind of goes with that other little um, nail file I showed you, which is, it is a, it is a nail clipper that fits into its leather case. And believe it or not, it works. I, I bought this just to see. I'm like, I don't know, it's a little thin. I don't know if this is gonna work, but it clips my toenails. And for those of you who know, toenails are a little harder to clip and it comes in this little leather case to keep it nice and you know keep it from getting scratched up. I like that. And I just keep a little pair of tweezers in here because you always want to have a pair of tweezers. I don't know. I just always, whether it's a splinter or a rogue hair that's decided to pop up overnight out of nowhere, I keep that and I keep that in here as well. And um, I think that's all that's in this little part of my bag right now. What else do I have? I also have this, another bee bag, as you can see, this is the same as the black one, but in yellow leather. And I'm not gonna go through every single thing that I have in here because I've kind of done that before and I have some other videos. But if you want me to do a new video on this, let me know in the comments below and say, show me what's in your yellow bee bag. And then I will do a video of what's in here, but another great leather bag that's just great leather, soft to the touch, and it's not gonna break the bank. That was kind of my key in all this. I just didn't want everything to be really expensive, but I wanted them to look expensive and make you feel a little more luxurious. There is a nice um, zipper pouch in here as well as a leather sleeve in here inside the bag. I'll show you some details. It's dark because it's black on the inside, but it's leather on the inside. It's not cloth, it's suede on the inside. Just really luxurious feel. And then on the inside of this, I carry a few things which are, well, shout wipe, because you know me, I'm always getting something on me. Um, a little thing of tissues, my little gum and picks to pick my teeth, and a little refresher wipe just in case I need it. And the last thing is, ooh, I'm knocking stuff over. This little pen, it's a nice little pen, it's gold, but it's a space pen, meaning it will write in water, it will write upside down. Um, it'll write anywhere, So, but I like that it was gold and kind of gave me a little more luxurious feel. So if I need to write a note or write down a phone number or something, this pen pops out easily and just looks really nice. So another great stocking stuffer or something to buy for yourself just to make you feel a little more luxurious on your travel adventures. 
So which one is your favorite? Which one's gonna be your new favorite travel obsession? I know which one mine is, but let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite that you would like to take to make you feel a little bit more luxurious on a budget on your travel adventures. Leave me a comment below. If you'd like to get any of these things for yourself or someone else that you think might enjoy this for their luxury budget travel adventure, I'll leave links in the video description below. Until the next time, remember to juice life, drink the joy, keep life simple, get yourself something nice that makes you feel really good on your travels. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.